Have you ever been in a situation where there's a move that you really want to learn, you're seeing it everywhere, it looks really cool, but you're just too lazy to put in the effort to learn it? That's, that's me all the time. But my laziness will not get to me today. It looks amazing and also not too difficult, so I think it's time. What up crew, welcome to another episode of Learn With Me. If you're watching this for the first time, Learn With Me is a series I came up with a while back because I wanted to learn a cardistry move with you, so I thought we can learn together, hence, learn with me. The move we'll be learning today is known as L Cuts by Jerry Seskowski, and I really hope I'm saying that right. But it's a one-handed cardistry move that looks super smooth, and not only can you do it in one hand, but you can do it with each hand, just doubling that smoothness. So without any further ado, let's learn L Cuts. So the video we'll be watching is by Dealer's Crypt. Let's check out the performance first, and then we'll go ahead and watch the tutorial. Hit that play button, here we go. Dealer's Crypt presents L cuts tips. Check out that move. Look at that. Oh, that smooth flow. Oh my God. I mean, just tell me that doesn't look awesome. Like, oh. It just, it looks so cool. I think it'd be a nice flourish to add, you know, making my table shake. I think it'd be a nice flourish to add with like your cardistry combos. I'm just, I'm so excited to learn this. Let's see how it's actually done. One more thing to note, before even touching a deck of cards, I just like to watch the tutorial. This way I can kind of see how everything progresses. And then when I, you know, watch the tutorial again with a deck of playing cards, it does become slightly easier. So that being said, let's check it out. Starting with the grip. Okay, we'll be holding the deck in that way. Make sure your thumb goes straight out from your lower arm. Okay. Okay, so you're holding it like this. Then you push it back out and you get that position. And you're gonna be holding it in the middle of your palm. The corner of the packet should be in between the two. Oh, I, I missed it, whatever. We'll watch it again. So there, take the ring finger, pulls out. Oh, and then the pinky, the pinky's gonna go, oh, this will be tough. Pinky's gonna come, push it up. It's gonna be clipped, let's pause real quick, clip the packet between your fingers to bring it out and maintain control. So it's clipped between the ring finger and the middle finger. Easy enough. All right, so that corner now, we kind of tilt our fingers a little bit from what I can see and get that corner tucked in um, right above the packet that we're holding like vertically on our, you know, between our thumb and our palm. And then it looks like we just repeat the move again and stack the cards there. And we end with that, turn it around, and there you have it. And there you have it, okay. So I think, oh, that's also flow and rhythm. Hmm, this is a very in-depth tutorial. I haven't dealt with this before. I don't know what to do. You know what, let's just watch the flow and rhythm part and uh, see where it is. A way to make it look more impressive is to move your hand back and forth in a rocking motion. I feel like that's something I would have discovered eventually, but I'm glad they're sharing this tip uh, I think it'll be really helpful in the actual learning process. So you grab, so you're grabbing down here and you're flipping up your, it's, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like when you're a police officer or an FBI agent and you're like, you know, FBI freeze. And you're like, you know, LAPD, like that, that scene from Rush Hour. Let me go. Don't move. LAPD. <laughs> but yeah, let's continue. You can switch between two methods, okay. Asynchronized, okay, so when you're doing it one at a time. And synchronized. Not gonna lie. Asynchronous looks so much better. I think it looks cooler when you're doing it one hand at a time versus doing it together. I feel like it has more impact together, but then like when you're reloading, it's not as cool. Whereas boom, 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 boom. 
That looks awesome. Combining the two usually gives a good reaction with layman. Okay. Oh, all right, so now we got a closer section. I'm wondering what this is about. I would think if you're doing it with two hands, a closer would be kind of just closing the packets together, but we'll see. So close, that's honestly how I would probably close it in the beginning. Turn that around. Close, turn that around. That was lame. Complex closer, oh yeah, the complex closer, obviously, that's what we're gonna learn. Okay, and there you have the background information of Elkuts. But yeah, I think we learned a lot. I think it's time to actually pick up a deck of playing cards and try to follow along with the tutorial. Hope you're ready, grab your cards, let's do this. All right guys, get your decks out and let's start this tutorial. Okay, starting off with the grip. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna be holding it like that, so obviously it's not the full deck. Make sure your lower thumb goes straight out from your lower arm. Okay, so lower thumb straight out, lower arm, boom. All right, so here we go. Um, so we're starting here. I'm just gonna not pretend to do that. So that grips there, straightens out. All right, I'm, I'm there, I'm there for now. And of course he's pointing right at his thing. Yeah, corner in the package should be between the two lines in your hand, between the two lines. Yep, I, I think there, between lines. Thumb grips on top. Let me pause here real quick. So it looks like the thumb isn't like completely reaching over like this, right? It looks like the thumb is more hanging on the side over here. So not completely over. So I don't think that like this uh, crevice part, I don't know what this part of the thumb is called, but that part is not here, but it's like back back here. The thumb is barely going over uh, the top of the this, uh, this packet. So that's where we are there. Let's hit play again. Grab a packet with our index finger. It wasn't too hard. Pinky rolled in here, push up, and then we grip. Oh my God, look at that. Cut the packet between your fingers to bring it out and maintain control. Do you see this? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, and this corner is gonna go straight in here. And somehow we keep it gripped. Okay, okay, let's pause real quick. So I don't know how we want this to stay gripped because if I let go of my ring finger, it kind of starts moving back, which is not ideal. Let me take a quick look. Um, okay, okay, so. Okay, so his middle finger is now curled around the packet. That's what it looks like. And I think that's how he's able to maintain that grip. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. So let's try that again. So we're gonna start off in this grip. Middle finger comes, takes the packet. Ah, oh, God damn it. Uh, pinky finger pushes up. Yep, yep, going slow. Then this holds, there we go. Look at that holding right there. That's called holding, it's a penalty. Uh, there we go, break that out. Maybe sweaty fingers isn't the best way to do this, but then you push up, come on buddy. Come on, buddy, push up. Push up. Push up. That wasn't too bad, honestly. Well, I mean, it wasn't good, but it could have been worse. Cards could have been flying everywhere. This is, this is a good start. Let's continue watching just to be sure I didn't miss anything out. Okay, then he just turns it around and uh, we're pretty much good to go from here. Okay, flow and rhythm, I think this is probably the most important part. So yeah, we did talk about this, we're moving it back and forth. I think back and forth is gonna be more useful once we have the basic technique down. So back and forth, back and forth, yeah, I understand that part. I understand, yo, what else, what else? Okay, and then you can switch between two methods, okay. So I think aside from all that, I think we're, I think we're pretty good. I don't think there's much to really look at this video anymore. Let's just go ahead and actually start practicing. 
And just to let you know, I usually practice each move about 20 minutes every day. So if I'm learning three moves, I spend 20 minutes practicing each move. So we're just gonna spend 20 minutes practicing this move today, and then 20 minutes tomorrow, the day after, until this move is learned. And that's good for a couple of reasons. One, you don't get frustrated. Two, your fingers don't start getting super sweaty and tired. And three, it kind of helps to build somewhat of a muscle memory and retain that overnight. So I feel like it's usually easier the second day around. So because of those reasons, I usually practice 20 minutes a day and I think it works really well. Now we've already spent like 10 minutes today. Let's just focus a little bit more on technique and then we'll speed it up as the uh, days progress. So here I am grabbing in the center, hopefully doing that too. Thumb not overextended, so somewhere around here, I think. And then we're taking this packet with our, oh my God, my finger's starting to sweat. We're taking this packet with our ring finger, pulling it out, just a small packet. Pinky finger goes on the bottom, pushes up. We clip with our ring finger and middle finger. Look at that, clip worked nicely. Push it in, and now this packet's clipped between the ring finger, or not the middle finger, sorry, the middle finger and this part of the palm, hand, whatever it is. So now it's not gonna fall back. Now I can come back here, grip another packet, go up, clip, like this, go up, clip, like this, go up. Oh my God, yo, this is not bad at all, oh my God. Oh my God, we could probably do this in like two, three days tops. I'm, I'm so excited right now. Let's keep that practicing going. Here we go. Boom. And there we go. Of course, of course. Like when I get too excited, I just stop paying attention. But I hope this is going well for you too because uh, I know the most frustrating thing is seeing someone do it and then they get it immediately and then yourself just not get it at all. So I really hope you're making uh, good progress as well because honestly, I don't think this move is too difficult. If you just focus a bit on getting the right grip in the beginning and then just focus a little bit more on the movements so for example gripping this here pinky helping to go up then you clip middle finger ring finger then you clip again here and just repeat the process and i think i'll start more on the flow on during day two maybe i'll do a little bit here but I, right now i just want to focus mo mainly um, on technique and then really get the flow down in uh, day two or at least get it down well on day two. I wanna give this other packet some love because it's just been sitting there by itself. Here we go. I don't want like one, one packet to just get super old. Maybe one thing we can do for this move, instead of just learning it with one hand, we'll learn it with two hands, you know, given that I have enough time. I kinda started learning this late. This video has to go up in a couple of days. So I'm really just uh, focused on learning this as quickly as possible. And honestly, it's, it's going better than I would say any of my other Learn With Me's. Like I'm, I'm thrilled with these results, even though there's not much, you know? You know what I'm saying? Okay, I wanna try this with both, both hands. See how coordinated my left hand is as well. I can't, oh fudge. What's the grip, what's the grip? Here we are. We're gonna do it um, simultaneously, so synchronous. Uh, here we go. There it is. Okay, we fell there, that's fine. We're here. Oh man, check this out, yo. Yeah, I'm telling you, if I could do this, there is no way that you can't do this. All right, we're gonna go to three more times to end day one. That's one, not too bad. Okay, that was too bad. Let me do two, one more time. Second try, second attempt. Or second attempt, second try. There we go, not bad at all. And here we go, last try for day one. Boom, 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 and boom. There we have it. Whew, that's gonna be it for day one. I'll see you really soon. All right, who's ready for day two? I know I am, I feel like I've been making good progress recently. Let's take half the deck and let's begin. Check it out, check it out. You ready for this? This is where we left off yesterday. 
Okay, obviously not the greatest, but hey, the cards didn't fall. I'm gonna keep going and get this down. All right, 20 minutes of practice for today starts now. You know, when I, when I do this like, you know, slowly and just take my time doing this part, I usually, usually don't mess up, okay? But then when I try to, oh, there it is. But then when I try to get the flow in that they talked about in the video, where you're doing this and you're down here, flipping it over, it, it I feel like the cards are gonna fall. That's, that's, that's my issue. But I mean, I guess I can do it without having the cards fall, but I just feel, I feel afraid. And then I also like grab way too many cards and I can do this move like one time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take that. Take that. Boom. All right, so what I'm seeing so far is Hold it a bit shallow with your thumb. This is one thing I definitely learned. Grab a small packet with your ring finger. And literally as soon as you grab it, I just start pushing up with my pinky finger. I think it makes life easier. Then of course you get that grip with the middle and ring finger. I literally take it out a little bit and I immediately push it in. And then I'm holding it with my uh, middle finger and this part of the palm there. So just these tips make it a little easier for me. It's just not, doesn't land perfectly every time. So I still have to work on that. The, you know, t the technique aspect of it, but we're doing all right. We are doing all right. I think I'm gonna do another minute then switch packets. All right, we'll give this packet a little bit of love now. By the way, let me know what you think of this angle. I feel like it's a good angle to see the move at, and I think it's a good angle to teach as well. So if you have any thoughts on it, do let me know in the description. Let's work on that flow now. Let's work on that flow. Here, 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 here. Oh, oops. Here, 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 here. There you go, not too shabby. All right, I'm gonna try doing this with my right hand now since my left hand got a decent amount of practice. Uh, like this. It's definitely much harder. Oh, well, the first one was quick. It'd be so cool if by the end of this I can do it with both hands. Oh, geez. I mean, the coolest thing, yo, but I don't know, maybe we'll get there one day. I doubt it's gonna be today, but one day. Oh, you know what? I think we should do both hands. This way, they're both doing something at the same time. Oh my God, oh my God, okay, wow. Ah, left hand is gonna require a lot of practice. Although I would think the left hand is more skilled when it comes to these things because, you know, one-handed cuts, all that stuff I do with my left hand. But apparently it's not skilled, which is unfortunate. So let's continue with the right hand, get it down very well, and uh, yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much at the 20 minute mark for the day. I'm just gonna do this one more time and let's see, let's see how it looks. Boom, boom. Okay, not great. One more try. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Let's go. Here we go, coming in on day number three. Man, I really thought I'd be done by the end of the day today, but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. Whew, first try of the day. Okay, that was only three times, but let's just try that one more time.
No, that's not too shabby. I just really want to get that, that flow down. I think that's what's really going to be the focus here today. To speed up and get the flow down. Nope, that's not it. Man, 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 man. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel like I should have had more progress made. But it feels like it's not as much. Maybe. Maybe the technical aspect of this flourish is not difficult. But doing it at a high speed is where the difficulty lies and getting that flow down. Because I know for a lot of a lot of cardistry moves, it's usually the technique that's difficult, and then once you have the technique down, getting the smooth flow is I mean it's not easy, but it's easier than the technique. And I think here it's more about the flow and speed. Okay, time to switch decks. You know, by the end of this, I would love to be able to do this with two hands, but I really don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, man, man, maybe I should just practice with both hands. Maybe, maybe then one day I'll get good. Mm, okay, not great. Also not too great. But not bad. Maybe I should try doing one at a time. Boom. Nope, 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 nope. God damn it. So my battery had just died, which is less than ideal, but it's okay. It's okay. I didn't realize it died until, you know, like two minutes in. I looked at the screen, it's like, oh, your battery's gone. But it's okay. We'll continue the practicing. Ooh, does the center of your hand start hurting? Like, this is hurting. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, man, I feel like I am getting a little bit better. Like, check this out. Boom. Okay, now, now I suck. Boy, okay, it's two more minutes and that'll be it for today. But my God, I really thought I'd get it down by the end of the day today. I would say it's like 70% there, maybe. Cause like I, I have the motion down slowly. I just can't go all the way. Like, you know, like come from down here to here. Oh, oh. Oh, that worked! All right, so this is something you need to work on slowly. Coming from here, break, here, here, break, here, here, break, here. Just gonna keep doing that for another minute. All right, here we go. Last try for today. Boom, 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 boom. Not a bad way to end. All right, guys, this is it. The last day of Learn With Me for this move, even though I don't have it completely learned. But this video has to go up tomorrow, so... We're gonna do our best. Let's see where we're at. Here we go. Hmm. 
man, it feels like I haven't made any progress since like day one. Because I feel like I just have part of the technique down and that's it. And I don't know what happened, like near the end of the day yesterday, like this part of my hand was hurting. I can guarantee it's gonna bruise. It actually kind of hurts if I just touch it. But we're gonna power through. Hopefully your hand's doing fine. Let's do this. Oh, I gotta switch packets. I think I'm gonna go back to focusing more on technique because I don't know, something's definitely wrong. I feel like I shouldn't be taking this long to learn it. Oh God, this part of my hand is hurting so much. Jeez. Yeah, I've seen if I'm in pain, uh, my fingers just give up randomly and it's not a great feeling. Uh, maybe I should just practice my left hand today. It's just not working out. Ah, uh, nothing's working. To think I was excited in the beginning. Strangely enough, I feel so much less pain. Uh, of course, now it's not working. But I feel so much less pain doing it with my left hand. Clearly overworked my right hand too much. Come on, stop it. I think I got a bit of the rhythm down and along with the flow, but I just have to take it slow. I think I, I made a mistake while practicing this move. I, I really started focusing more on speed uh, during day two and that kind of threw me off because I really should have focused day one on getting technique down, which, which I kind of did do, but also just focusing on slowing down the technique, really getting that along with the flow of the move. So what I'm doing now, I really should have done end of day one and most of day two. Go, oh, pretty good. All right, here's what I wanna do. Quick 30 second break. And then we're gonna try with both hands. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let's get into position. Oh, I read up cards. Getting into position. Here we go. That was pretty good. Oh, let's go. I mean, it was slow, but none of the cards fell. It was pretty good. So here we are. Boom. 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 Not bad. Not bad. We're getting somewhere. That's actually working out pretty well, I gotta say. I'm impressed. Starting with not even being able to do it today, I'm, oh, there it is. I was gonna say I'm fairly satisfied. Don't really know what I expected to get out of today, but I had a feeling I definitely wouldn't get it down. There it is, let's go to the other hand. There we go, bam. Single hands for the win.
Guys, I think I'm gonna call it for this video. I think I, I really made some good progress today, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna finish this move in this Learn With Me video. I uh, had a good streak going, learned the past couple of moves, but not this time. But don't worry, this move is not gonna get to me. I'm gonna continue learning this, and uh, once I learn it, there will be a video. You'll see me doing this like a freaking pro. Like a freaking pro. Boom, boom. Yeah. Man, here I was thinking I'd learn that move in like a couple days and yet it's day four, still didn't learn it. It just, ah, it drives me crazy. But hopefully you guys were able to get the basic foundation of the move down with me because I know I covered that a lot in detail on, uh, on day one. And don't worry, this is not the end of the journey. I will continue learning this move, filming my progress day by day, and eventually upload it here and onto my Instagram account so you can see exactly the process I made every single day. And I'm gonna tell you that final result for that move is gonna look epic. And one last thing I want us to do in this video was a giveaway. This deck giveaway is sponsored by my man, Jesse Champlin. He went over to the card mechanic shop and sponsored one of the Canis Lupus decks. So if you want a chance of winning this deck, all you gotta do is go in the comments and write down one of your favorite cardistry moves and just do a hashtag giveaway. That's it. From there, I will select the winner. I will announce the giveaway winner in just three days, so make sure to get all your entries in on time. And again, huge shout out to my man, Jesse Champlin, for making this happen. Let's go. That's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this Learn With Me video. And if you haven't checked out the other videos in the Learn With Me series, I'll put the playlist on the screen. You can check it out right now and look at all the awesome moves we can learn together. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you really soon.